Matty had a great idea today. He figured he'd take out these golden little 16 inch bikes and have a session on it. Well, while you guys are sitting here cruising around, I had a better idea. What I'm gonna do is challenge you guys. You are all gonna have a head to head competition right now. It's gonna be voted by YouTube. What we're gonna be doing is getting 15 minutes to film an edit for each of you guys. And I'm going to let the edit Whoa. run through and we're gonna see who has the best edit on one Whoa. of these bikes. So who wants to go first? That's a real question. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, come on. on! So as the guys are warming up right now on these bikes, I just want to quickly break down what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a 15 minute timer for each rider. That's all they have to film this edit. Now the goal is to get as many clips as possible, as many great clips as possible. And we're going to be hearing in the comments on who you think did the best edit. So what I want you guys to look for is the originality of the edit for each rider. I also want you to look for the difficulty of tricks of each of these guys, especially riding these stupid little bikes. So Corey Bergler is just going to finish warming up and we're going to get straight into this. All right, Corey is officially ready to go. Time started, let's do this. Reviewing Corey's edit just from the filming standpoint, we're all sitting here just laughing because Corey is just killing this bike. He did the tail, which we didn't think was possible. He somehow clicked the turn down. He got technical as well, and he ended it off with such an epic banger doing that flare, man. That was an awesome edit. But now we're moving on to the next rider. And who's it gonna be? Who wants to go? Vin. Vin's going? Vin's up! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Congrats, Vin. That was awesome. Thanks, dude. Even with the rain, I still got the, the banger that I was going for, just not in the spot I wanted. <laughs> so yeah, Vin it. had the battle of wet ramps. Well, luckily for Maddie, they seem to be drying up pretty quick, so he's still going to have to ride. So, no why don't you get some practice in real quick and we're going to get your bike? edit? Where's my rig? It's cool. It's just a new bike. It's good.
Good job, Matt. Very impressive. All you guys, man. You guys did fantastic we, we work on these 16-inch bikes. It was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so now that you guys seen all the edits, it's up to you guys to decide who is going to be the winner of this challenge. Is it Corey Berger with his flair? Is it Vinny Menino with his amazing clean lines? Or is it Maddie with his bar spin combinations? You guys get to decide right now. But I just want to let you guys know, after riding the 16 inches, they have a whole different appreciation for it. Why don't we ride it again? <laughs> you actually enjoyed yeah, it. That was a goal Honestly, that was a blast. That was actually really fun. <laughs> Put some normal size handlebars. Yeah, why do you it think it's normal. what what makes it so fun though, would you say? I think it's just it's lighter, mm. number one. I think it's also just something where it's smaller so you can control it a little easier. You think it's almost like how scootering is like it's easier to do because it's like I mean some stuff was really hard, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but yeah. Overall it just felt a little different than That's a normal so size cool. bike. And you feel the same way? I want to build one up. <laughs> you do? I want like a full blown freestyle setup. That's so awesome. Bike. What size and bars would you put on? Like some pretty big bars? I, I, How do you feel about it, it though? I, I'm obsessed with it. You right really now. are? I might just start coming out here and just sessioning the ramp. That's so crazy. Yeah. It's so funny because this one's pretty bone stock too. Like oh, we didn't change is, the handlebars on this. This you know? is the junkiest the thing The stem is sideways on it. Um, I think you straightened it out a little bit. The seat does have a little bit of an issue. So maybe we'll build up some It's just fun. Some freestyle I, don't know. I think because you could get out of it. Like mm -hmm. it's kind of like less Dang dangerous <laughs> in a way. Yeah, that's it's, why I think the risk isn't as there. You can just get away so quick instead mm -hmm. of going down with the ship every time and feeling the wrath of the bottom of this ground. Yeah. You can kind of get out of it. That's really interesting. So it looks like we're going to be building up some random 16 inches that are better quality and these guys are actually going to start riding them a little bit more, which is crazy to say. I didn't think we were going to be saying that at all when we were filming this video. But guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Remember to put the winner in the comments below and we'll check in in the next video and let you know what the results are. It has been a long and cold winter here in New Jersey and we are finally getting some weather that is better. And we are going to do what we said we were going to do at the beginning of this winter when we bought all of our equipment. We are going to build some new ramps for the skate bar setup and we are starting today with building a spine. So we assembled the best team for the job. A team that is perfect at making things work when they're not supposed to. And we're going to try to make it happen this week and we're going to bring you guys all along for the journey. So let's get things started straight away. So this chalk line right here is our transitions. What we ended up doing was anchoring a string that was right here on this screw that's in that crack. So after we anchored that, we put the string all the way straight across and we marked it at 97 inches. Now, 97 inches to that end bit. So what we did was tie a string around the chalk line and we did 97 inches all the way around in a full half a circle, pretty much, or a quarter of a circle. So now what we're gonna be doing is talking about the height of the spine. We decided to make the spine five and a half feet tall. So we marked it straight up from there. And that mark in that transition piece is at five and a half feet. So now what we need to do is start bending the metal because we're gonna completely make it out of stainless steel. So the boys are currently bending it and we'll show you guys what's happening. How's it going so far? Well, our original head mechanic- It looks like it's been going really good. Oh yeah. Oh man. The original head mechanic took one of the pieces to see head engineer he's not a mechanic he's our engineer okay head Secondary. Engineer. original head, head There's only engineer. one engineer is he leaving already this ship he's, he's, he's going to so i'm gonna go make this flat yeah oh really we only have a round one <laughs> this one's fine though i don't know this, what he's really yeah. complaining this one's not bad yeah but so he wants to make like go look at that one go yeah. zoom into that like Pretty so much we were using this, flat. so we're gonna make it flat so it sits on the, oh. two, the piping. Bed. You yeah, know, like it's weird. Those pottery spinners, like yeah, pot it, things, it looks like a donut. Put it on there because the one that we have for our size. Oh, it's definitely concaving that piece. That, that was that's, the last that's, one. That's that was one the last took. one. Oh, this right, is a right, better right. one. Yeah, we found a better so one. Now, That'll work. what's the difference? What is he trying it's to do? It's flatter. Right so he's gonna take that one and make it flat like these. Did he just leave right now and do it? Wow, that was quick. He doesn't like this though because he's scared that a screw won't really isn't go gonna in. sit flat on it's there. It's definitely which, not gonna sit flat on there technically. It, man, it won't affect I know this. Stuff. It's not gonna affect anything. Yeah, but you guys are a perfectionist. You gotta understand that he's a perfectionist. He's a exactly. professional, right, Cork? You know. He is a professional, <laughs> but at everything. He is. Well, let's talk about what we're doing for the most part. So these are our metal sides right now, that are transition pieces. What we need to do is aggressively bend every single one of these. Matt, why don't you show everybody how it actually bends? You and BK repeat so the process. You, so you guys this. are actually gonna keep if on going, right? If anybody can translate what this sign means, just saying. <laughs> we still don't know what it means. Yeah, it's definitely in but these are our some signs. kind of Asian writing right <laughs> but there. But all it's, I know is that- It's the direction of which way. way. Oh. All right. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. Back and forth. So I play this little gambling game where I have to stop that end as close as I can to here. Yeah. We have to use every inch. Every inch matters. Every inch matters in this one. So I, I aim right here. So you can see that there's three here, right? These two keep the base of it. This one gets tensioned right here. 
from that screw and it puts pressure to it. Ooh. I got my spot now. Yeah, look at that was that was then I get close. muscles over here. Get a little bend. Nice. Okay. I mean, though, it definitely should be off the wheel so it doesn't <laughs> move. But I would do that regardless. And then yeah. I, well, it looks I, like it's working though. I do the strenuous part. thing of just. Yeah, he, he, does, he does the hard part. Yeah. Woo! Uh, it looks like it's working, guys. It looks yeah. like you're doing a good job. Cool. So this is step one. We got to bend this metal. Now the goal is to make this pretty much identical to that transition piece. So we're gonna have to remove it, bring it over there, lay it on the ground, check it out, see if it's close enough to it. It's a lot. We're gonna have to do that a few times, I'm assuming. But it's actually bending pretty good. That used to be a straight piece of metal and it's already bent. Now we have to make four of those for this side of it because our game plan with the spine, the face of it, the lip of it is going to be five and a half foot tall with eight foot transition. So it's gonna be steep. The landing part is gonna be five and a half foot tall as well, but I'm going to do it mellower. And we got this idea from riding the carry park in North Carolina. We love that spine. So we're making it a hair smaller and we're assuming that we're going to make the transition for the landing around 10 and a half. I think that would be steep enough that you could still jump the back of it, but mellow enough that it's like forgiving to learn tricks on. So we're gonna keep on bending this one and then I'll show you when we bring it on over there to see if it fits or not. Understand how things go this way and it gets pointed to my direction. All right guys, guy let's talk about this. I put the camera down no, for 30 seconds so we hit our bend. first problem. No, so we're hitting that. this uh, bend right here. Now the problem is we only have 10 foot pieces. Um, when we're working with 10 foot pieces, uh, there has to be a certain amount of right. usable bend in this thing. So when it comes to usable bend, like you can see this end, this one looks pretty flat compared to that right there. So we need to get, what's the inches? We need 104. 104 inches of usable bend. And right now we're currently at? 100. Oh man, so that's four inch difference. You can't go, like this gap has to be here. So yeah. basically you're wasting this amount on each side. You gotta think, the bottom of a transition is pretty straight. So like, could you cheat your way? It'll be close. End, you we'll know what I mean? Just keep bending this thing. We're going to get it close. Oh, I'm going to keep it. It's yeah. getting yeah, bent. I'm get it close. And, and we'll just, figure it out from that. We'll, we'll get play around with it. For sure. All right, so and both of you guys. I'm bending it. I'm doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing the easy part. Maddie's doing the hard part. You are. But we go. Checking in two minutes later, the boys have officially melted the electronics in our pipe bender. They tightened it too much. The thing started no. rattling, yeah, making we, crazy noises. We tightened it the same amount. I've been doing it the same you amount. You guys heard. There was clearly a tight difference. Scott, I'm just going to shed light on the fact that you're saying you guys and they <laughs> and I. I know. You. Well, show me your hands. Show me your hands. They're pretty clean, dude. Yes, I know. Ah, clean. I see some dirt. I, I see some dirt. Yeah, so, that's just, not enough. It's only usually, you know, <laughs> two people working here anyway, so. Well, apparently I just do the tricks. That's where Maddie tries the other plug because that's going to be the issue. No, I actually tried them all. <laughs> so here's the end result, guys. We have a pipe that's not bent right. We also have a motor that we believe is already done. It's been three minutes of total work time and the boys matched to... And I'll remember that three minutes forever. Yeah, I bet you will. So what I'm going to have to do is take this thing over to an electric motor shop and see if they ha can fix it or if I can get a replacement. We'll see what happens, but I don't know. That was a very exciting day and in a very unclimatic finish right there for sure but we'll get back into it we will